three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of the Upshot Project. Today I'm absolutely freezing, solely shaking. We are traveling about 24 hours by bus from Ushuaia all the way to El Calafate. So we did ourselves a mischief and we forgot to fill out the declaration to enter Chile. Um, because even if we stay in Argentina, because the road is a bit weird, we need to enter Chile, get out of Chile and enter Argentina again. Anyway, we forgot to fill out the declaration. The bus driver was really mad with us. We finally got it. We've been on the road for three hours. And yeah, we're crossing the border in maybe 30 minutes. So we've had to get onto the bus at around 3 a.m. And to help us keep awake, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. So step one we think is done. And that was basically to leave Argentina to go to Chile. Step two, something happened. We almost got fined five hundred dollars. U.S. Uh, U.S. by the Chilean border officers because we forgot to declare that we had the plans. In the declaration, it asked if we had plans. It was two a.m. night. I said no. I am not carrying my plant with me. But I forgot that the fruit is part of a plant. So. Yep, so we got caught by the dog <laughs> and I think we're going to arrive in the Rio Gallegos, Gallegos? Ga this place earlier than expected so we're going to have a much longer layover before our next bus. So now we're getting back into Argentina. So we've actually ended up picking up a couple of mates and for our five hour layover, pit stop, whatever you want to call it, we're currently in Rio something something. I actually am not sure. Somewhere in Argentina. It's a bit cold and we're all starving after traveling since 3 a.m. Traveling since 3, it's currently almost 4, bloody hungry. Oh, are you? Okay. No, so I so, The dog, look at them. Alrighty, so step four. We go from I actually can't pronounce this place all the way to all the way to El Calafate. So last bus could be another four hours. Let's see how we go. I'd rather be, except maybe bed. So despite my initial thoughts of all the buses we would take in Latin America being not great, uncomfortable and whatever, every bus that we have taken has actually been really nice. The seats hug your back and we even were able to watch a movie in the one that we were in today. So, and because we are uh, true to our nature, we did not pay for a taxi. We are walking the 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to the accommodation in the darkness. But there's no one here, so it's okay. Hopefully it's safe. We haven't read at all <laughs> we don't the safety <laughs> of this place.
Mike. It is quarter past one in the morning, and we seem to have set off an alarm that may or may not have just woken up the entire uh, accommodation. Just gave the guy who owns the place a call. He said he was going to be here soon. Yeah, just annoying for everyone at this point. Finally had our showers. Um, finally ready to go to bed after this really, really long day. Really excited, but now let's just go to sleep. Yes, okay. Uh, we're going to go down the steps there and at three two one we look okay one we're at the corner there okay, okay. yeah fine okay look the floor it's starting to hurt not be so i want to look no don't look now don't look now three two one Oh. Oh, hot damn. Oh. That's <laughs> I did. Whoa. Words. Whoa. That's crazy. The colors. The shape. Oh, we've got to get closer. I got like a. Like a wave of emotion. Like, it's like nothing I've seen before. I feel like crying. It's like I can't believe something like that, like, it exists. Like, and we might not even able, be able to see it in a couple of years, you know? Like, imagine before how big it was, how cold it was. It's I thought it would be kind of like a mountain or like a mount, but snowy. But you can see that it's ice. Yeah. And that's what really like freaks me out a bit. <laughs> this feeling of you being so small. Like this glacier has, has seen so much since it exists, mm. you know? That's millions and millions of years of creation that we see in front of us, of accumulation, like... <laughs> Just, I'm really tired. <laughs> and I'm really lucky to be here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Within the southern Patagonian ice field before us stands the second largest ice field globally, the Perito Marino Glacier. This glacier is a breathtaking relic from the last ice age over 18,000 years ago when the entire region was cloaked in a thick layer of snow and ice. Sighted by the first non-indigenous person in 1879, this five kilometer wide UNESCO World Heritage Site was named after Francisco Marino, a renowned explorer at the time. The glacier itself rises 74 meters above the water, concealing a further 170 meters below. We also found it surprising to learn that although the global temperatures are always rising at the moment, the glacier defies the heat, growing about two meters every single day. Despite our journey being filled with annoyances, struggles and sleepless moments, it was worth absolutely everything to get here. This glacier was undoubtedly one of the greatest highlights of our 2023 adventures, if not 
the greatest of any of the times that we've filmed for the Upshot project. Yeah. We're gonna be late for the bus, so <laughs> You can have all this. Do you want honey? Honestly, now that we're back here, we really hope that we were able to shoot something that did that glacier justice because <laughs> it was just unbelievable. Honestly, it took our breath away and we're super stoked we've even been mm -hmm. able to get there. Yeah, we really think it has to be seen at least once in a lifetime. So if you have any questions about Patagonia or the glaciers, please reach out. And on that note, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helped us. And See you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you, Mark. <laughs> I think that was pretty good first crack. Honestly. I think that, I think that was our best first crack ever. Love. We're getting we're getting we're getting good. We're getting good.